G'day guys, um, just down at uh, Warrandyte this morning. Um, the other week I went out and did a little bit of exploring. So I've had uh, 10 buckets of uh, unscreened gravels. I was able to find a creek that a truck ran next to. And... I was really out for the day just exploring new new spots and you know things like may, may look really good on Geovic or Google Maps and looking at uh, different types of maps of uh, inside bends, bends where creeks, junctions of different creeks where they meet but until you actually get out somewhere you don't uh, really know if it is a good spot or if it's been dug. This particular spot hadn't been dug. There's a few uh, good indicators in the sense that probably 20, 30 metres up from the creek, from where I did dig, there was some um, was a pinch point where when when the creek had been flooding, it had ripped all the gravels out of that section and then deposited it down about 20 odd metres from that spot. The other thing that was there was a fallen tree that ran in line with the creek. So on this side of the creek where I'd say more of the creek was to the left but the log was about here like this you could say. And I dug in an area sort of like there and I did one test pan, got a couple little tiny specks and thought I'm just going to dig 10 buckets from there um, and see how we go. So that's what I've done today. Just got the pump set up. That's me tailing so you can sort of see how much uh, I've dug. These are the tailings from the other end of the sluice, all the finer sort of gravels. Matt's clearing really well. I'll uh, turn this pump off. So, I'm starting to get on top of this mat as well with angles and things like that. But it's, it's more about getting it right so that the cells are pretty much just got a full and this part of the mat is clearing out. And that's from top to bottom. Not expecting to see any um, big nuggets or anything, but you never know. Could get lucky. Um... What I will do is probably clean the mat first and see what's in the mat. Um, as I've probably mentioned before, I reckon about 85% of the gold gets caught there. But the smaller, finer gold does get through. The uh, miners moss and the dream mat down here captures it. All right, I need two hands to actually pull this thing out, so I'll do that. And uh, I'll show you some results. All right, uh, mat's been cleaned. And there's the results. Not too bad, a few chunky little bits there. But that's not too bad. Um, just to put into perspective what 10 of those buckets um, means where, if I went to the creek when it was flowing and I could dig that amount of gravel. Probably about 30 minutes. Um, I wouldn't say much longer than that. As I said, these are unscreened. These were just pretty much dug straight into the buckets, taken home. Um, I didn't have water to wash stuff. I had a tiny little pool where I tested, 
but I actually didn't have water to um, wash any gravels. So, gold's in there. Now, what I did actually do, not that I showed it, but I've got a second pan over there, and I've panned um, from one pan into the next. I'll suck the gold up. Get rid of that. I'm going to take those gravels home, those cons. Maybe just do them a second time at home, a third time. Um, always fun walking in the creek. Um, yeah, I'll take these gravels home. So that was, that's pretty much all the gravels from the mat. I'm going to take out the expanded mesh and um, miner's moss and see uh, what that delivers. Hopefully, I'm right with my calculations and I should have about 80% more gold. Alright, um, did the miner's moss. Pan was still just got sitting under the water there, that's where I've been panning into. Um, the amount of gravels that I caught compared that I captured, I should say, in the um, in the miners' moss compared to the mat itself are about the same. Uh, get that out. Well, around about the same amount. Not a lot of gravels, you know, at the end of the day that are caught. So it's not much to uh, pan out. But I do pan it out twice, and the reason is, it doesn't matter how good you think you are, when you're dealing with concentrates, and especially if you've been digging three, four, five hours, um, and you've decided, just bugger up, I'm going to run the day, and then I'm going to stop and do it all at the end. When you're confident with your equipment, you know. Um, obviously you're doing test pans and stuff like that in between, making sure you're staying on the colour. They're the heaviest things that you've caught or dug out of the creek. So it takes a few goes to uh, clean them out properly. And sometimes you just got to slow down, be a bit careful, because sometimes I've found um, gold actually stuck still to the host rock. And you might miss it the first time around. But, there's the pan. And there's the gold. So, that is... Oh, there's missing up a bottle. I'll just give that a shake. Should have done this before, but it doesn't matter. Um, right. What I'll do. So that's the goal that I captured in the moss. And I'll just shake this stuff out. And I'll give you the comparison. So gold from moss, as I said, and that's the gold. I'll uh, just tip this water out so it's a bit easier to see. So yeah, gold from um, the mat itself. So, yeah, look, it's probably about what I was saying. About 20%, 80% of the gold. Let's put some water in this. Give it a good little shake. the goal for the day. Got to be happy with that. Now, if there was water there, and it wasn't too high and I could get to this spot, um, and I did a day dig there, if that's what I'm getting out of half an hour and I stay on that gold like this, then um, easy 
easy three, four grams, I reckon, would be able to achieve from a day. Especially um, the amount of ground that I've seen there. Um, it's a very promising spot. Very promising. So, um, yeah, we'll call this the goal from the Secret Creek. Only because I'm not revealing where it is. Um, look, if you've hung around for uh, this long, I am going to uh, be putting out a video pretty soon. Um, probably next week. Um, announcing the Murray meetups. Um, I did these a few years ago. And I thought um, I'll uh, have one in about, I don't know, three or four weeks maybe. Maybe even five. We'll see how we go. Uh, water should have returned to the creeks by then. And um, the plan is to head out to uh, Creswick. Um, but I'll put another video out. It'll just be a little short one. Uh, just talking about the actual meetup and how to get in contact with me and all that sort of stuff. Um, just so that I can not so much control numbers or anything else, but um, I, I know who's coming. You know, there's no point saying, okay, let's meet here and someone's running late and they can't get in touch with me to say, hey, listen, um, I'm not able to get there at that time. So, because trying to uh, look at a message on YouTube, <laughs> uh, some people might not have access to it. So, um, if they've got some other contact another way to contact me then you know, makes it a bit easier oh well, all that big bit of gold in there a little bit of color i'm quite happy with what i got no more in the pan these um cons that i got they're going in with the other cons And when I'm bored one day, I uh, might get them out, and, or if I'm testing something, um, I'll use them for, for something like that. All right, I'm going to pack up. Probably not too, of a, too much of an interesting video um, in that sense. There's more me just running me cons, all me, me gravels that I got. Always, uh, when you have been high banking anywhere, always knock your gravels down, make that gravel pile as low as possible. Um, after the first good rain through here, all this stuff's going to get moved anyway. But there we go. So tailings are pretty much knocked down. Once I move the high banker, I'll knock them down a little bit more. And until the next time, I'll see you all later.